how to play The Sims 4 on a Mac for free. Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Mac OS tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily download and install The Sims 4 on your iMac, MacBook, or MacBook Air for free. So if you're trying to play The Sims 4 on your Mac, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to easily do that. All right, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is simply open up a browser. And I'm just going to open up the Safari browser. Once the browser's open, we just want to go to thesims4.com. This is the official website of The Sims 4. And once we get here, we just want to go up into the top right where it says play for free, hover over that, and you'll see Origin for Mac. So we can play on our PlayStation, Xbox, or even Windows computer. But if we want to play with our Mac, we select Origin for Mac. Once that loads, select Download Now. And we just want to select Origin for Mac one more time. If it comes up asking if we want to allow downloads from EA.com, select Allow. That's the uh, company that owns The Sims 4. All right, so once the file downloads down here, we can open up the downloads and then find the file. It should be origin.dmg. Go ahead and open that up. And then all we need to do here when we see this window right here is simply drag origin over into the applications folder. Once you do that, you should hear a sound and then it will start copying the files over. So now we have installed origin on our Mac. Now that we've installed origin on our Mac, we need to open it up. And we do that by selecting Command and spacebar on our keyboard, and then just type origin. You should see it come up right here, select it. The first time we open it, we may have to give it some permissions. So select open for downloaded from the internet, then read through the agreements and agree to those. Origin will then come up where you have some settings you can configure. Some of these are related to privacy, so I'm gonna turn off the share hardware specifications, and then I don't want origin to open up every time I turn on my computer. So once I make those changes, I can select okay. And then now we need to log in in order to download The Sims 4. So you can either sign in or if you want to create an account, select create an account right here. Once we log in or have created our account for Origin and Origin loads like this, go over into the left sidebar and you'll see the stores where it says browse games, hover over that and go down and select The Sims and then go to The Sims 4. This is where we'll be able to see The Sims 4, and all we need to do is select Add to Library. Once it's added, if it says Download with Origin, select that. But you should be brought over here to your gaming library, and all we need to do is select The Sims 4, and then select Download. From there, select your language, and then we can choose the install location for The Sims 4. Most likely, you can just keep this default. Keep in mind, the game is 20 gigabytes. So select Next, and then you just have to read through the End User License Agreement select the checkbox and select next. From there, you should see the download for The Sims 4 start in the bottom left. Keep in mind, if it disappears from down here in the bottom left, you can always go to my game library, find The Sims 4, and you'll be able to see its download progress there. So it looks like it is 100% downloaded. Now it's just finalizing and verifying The Sims 4 on my Mac. So once it's completely done, you can come back to Origin and go to my game library. And then you'll see the Sims there. It'll say complete. We can select it. And then now when we select it, we can select play. And then the Sims 4 will start loading. You can start a new game, choose your world, and then start playing the Sims 4 on your Mac. All right, so that's how you play the Sims 4 on an iMac, MacBook, or MacBook Air. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Mac OS tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.